In this illustration, we will study about the case of replotting an indicator diagram. Here we are given that a cyclic process is shown in indicator diagram, and we are required to replot the indicator diagram on p and t variable axes and in figure. We are also given that BC and DA are isothermal processes where temperature remain constant. So in solution, we can analyze all the processes one by one and replot it on temperature and pressure axis. Here we can start with the state A where pressure is P and temperature is T. So if we consider this is state A of gas. Then we can start in process A B. Here we can write uh, we'll take and analyze all processes one by one. So in this equation process A B we can see this is an isobaric process. So, for isobaric process, uh, pressure remains constant. Then, here also, as pressure should remain constant from A to B, it will be a horizontal straight line to B. So, here we can write on PT axis also, it will be a horizontal line. If we talk from B to C, then we can see the second process is process BC. Here, yeah, this one, this two, which is given to us as isothermal process. So, in isothermal process, temperature remains constant. So, in this situation, this will be a vertical line. So, here, uh, this will be the process which will carried over from B to C. For vertical line, temperature remains constant on PT. Axis and this will be the isothermal process. If we talk about the process CD, here we can see this is an isochoric process where volume is constant. So, this is an isochoric process. So, here we can write if volume is constant, then by gas law for constant volume pressure is proportional to T. So, we can write this is a straight line passing through origin. Then only this will be a pressure proportional to temperature relationship. So, this line will start in such a way that it will be passing through origin like this. So, this process will be starting in this direction. And we can see as the process after process CD, the gas is being taken along an isothermal process from D to A. So, first we can write down the fourth process which is process D A which is again isothermal where we can write it should also be represented here by a vertical line. So, in this situation this point D will be taken up to a point. So, that D can be joined with A by a vertical line. So, this is the complete cycle which we have redrawn on PT axis corresponding to the cyclic process given in the problem.